One question that is discussed frequently is, how to find the intrinsic value of a stock, or how to value a stock. In this video, we will see overview of the approach to stock valuation. To value a stock we need certain inputs and judgment. What are these inputs? Quality of business and management. This is the first and foremost step. If the quality is not satisfactory, drop the stock idea from further consideration. Growth. This has two facets. 1. Growth rate. This depends on the size of the opportunity and the ability of management to exploit this opportunity and scale up their business. 2. Growth period. This is the number of years the growth rate can be sustained. To determine this, a fair understanding of the industry in which the company operates is needed. This is where the circle of competence comes to play. This also helps to reflect on ourselves to see if we understand the industry and company well. Disruptions. This affects the growth rate and growth period. Study the competition well to understand who are the major players, their market share, their competitive advantage and so on. Look into the future. Which technology change would disrupt your company? Financial statement analysis. Analyze 5 to 10 years statements to get key numbers and ratios. When you look at these numbers and trends of this 5-10 year data, the numbers and trends tells us something. We as investors must be capable to decode and interpret the meaning. What are the judgments needed? What is the growth rate that can be expected? 10%? 20%? Or more? How many years can this growth rate be sustained? Is it 3 years, 5 years or 10 years? What can disrupt the growth rate and growth period? Why do we need so many inputs? All these goes into various valuation models. With all these details, one can get a fair idea of what the value of the company is. Valuation is the last step that an investor takes up after completing the analysis discussed in the previous slide. Your valuation is as good as the analysis that you did and used as inputs in valuation. Mistakes, wrong assumptions and estimates in the analysis affect valuation. Pick a suitable valuation model to arrive at the valuation of the stock. Use multiple models as required. There are many models, a few are listed below. There is no one fit for all, different industry and situations demand different model or combination of different models. Thanks for watching this video. Any queries? Post your questions in the comments section below. Do not miss any of my videos on personal finance and stock markets. Subscribe to my channel, Empowering with Financial Awareness, to get alerts whenever I upload a video.